So in this tutorial, uh, this is another um, example of um, what I started with uh, the fur ball and the little chrome ball. So I'm pretty much going to do like a, an asteroid ball <laughs> or an asteroid in the shape of a ball. Um, and this is just another example of, you know, showing you or giving you ideas on doing texture, all right? Um, you can, you know, of course you can use this this type of uh, rendering literally for this, or of course you can use it for anything else that you may be drawing, all right? important thing to pay attention to is the fact that, um, again, um, I will be making sure that, you know, you can feel the sense that it's light going to dark, you know, like the light is coming from this direction and this side will be in shadow. As a matter of fact, I can even start sketching it in just like that. So this is kind of like my reminder that this side will be in shadow. All right, and this is just a little laying in the shadow here just to remind me that this will be in shadow and this will be in light. And then it's just a matter of going in and start, you know, um, shading in the little craters and, and so on and so forth. All right, so I hope this may give some ideas or some clues and rendering anything that's like stony or rocky or has a rough type of a uh, surface to it. Yeah, and I think that's, uh, that's basically it. Um, yes, if you notice, you know, you can see that um, the value definitely goes from from light to dark. And you can still feel the volume of this, even though I've laid in the, the, the details of the texture. Now, some interesting thing I'll just mention. One is, um, you'll notice that the area where the, the, the border of the shadow, I call it the shadow border, where the light ends and the shadow begins, right around this area, you'll notice that that's where you see most detail. And that's how it is with most things you'll observe. You can, you know, because when it goes into shadow, things become obscure. And when it goes into the direct light or highlight area, it becomes bleached out. 
So that's another thing you can use to manipulate. I'm not using any references here. You just, you know, you can. That's something you can always see with with most things that you draw, is that the details you'll be able to make out more things in the um, area in the middle and the area in the light will be bleached out. So I just deliberately left it very scant and didn't put much information there, and put most of the details in the area where the light and shadow meet, and make it more obscure in the shadow area. 